Yeah, we have a uh, we have a thing running at the moment called uh, the Buskers Challenge, in which I uh, I throw up a couple of names from artists that I used to busk when I was a busker back in the uh, the very early days, and uh, you get to choose. It's we've had to introduce. It's kind of like it's a kind of a voting thing. We've had to introduce after an hour. We've found that if we don't have a bit of interactivity, the younger members of the audience drift off and start texting each other. <laughs> And it's really spooky because you can see their little faces lighting up on the reflection from there. And it's like Night of the Zombies, you know, it's like horrible. And they've all got goatees, it's really scary. I don't, li I don't like it. No offence, mate. Um, they, uh, there's always one. Um, and they're always down the front. Um, but hey, could have been worse, could have been a ponytail. Um, and um, the... No, I think I'm all right there. I think I'm all right. Uh, yeah. So, um, tonight we have a special selection process backstage. And so I'm going to tell you the two artists and then you've got to vote. And probably, I don't probably need the house. So I can probably say it's a show of hands kind of thing. Uh, so the two artists tonight, I just want you to think about this. The two artists tonight are, I don't want to need to see them ultraviolet. Um, the two artists, that's a lot of dandruff, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck. Or maybe it's cocaine, I don't know. Uh, the two artists tonight are A... John Cooper Clark and B Bob Dylan. Now that can't be right. Wait a minute. Bob Dylan got more cheers than John Cooper Clark. John Cooper Clark is probably one of the greatest poets that Britain has ever produced. Don't tell me you don't know who John Cooper Clark is. Come on. That's just outrageous. Everyone who knows who John Cooper Clark is, come on, pop your hands. Come on. Oh, this is going to be no contest. This is out of order. No, I can't have this. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to have to confer with my... Just a second. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do a John Cooper Clark poem in the style of Bob Dylan. What about that? How does that grab you? Because you all know... You all know... You all know... Uh, you all know your Bob Dylan, I'm sure, inside out at these kind of gigs, but I want to introduce you to the wonder. John Cooper Clark was a Mancunian, is a Mancunian, who looks a lot like, a lot like Bob Dylan in his classic skinny geezer with Afro hair face. And uh, Clarky, I'm sure you won't mind me saying, is a reformed heroin addict. And he talks like that. <laughs> He's a fucking, he talks like that. And there's a, there's a, a political radio programme on, on Radio 4 called the Today Programme. It starts at 6 o'clock in the morning and it finishes at 9am and I never go on it for obvious reasons. <laughs> I'm not very good in the morning uh, on a radio show. Gee, if you're here, mate, gee, that's the answer. I'm not very good first thing in the morning. Um, but um, the one time I did go on there to discuss poetry, it was with Johnny Clark. And because he talks like that, he made me sound lucid. <laughs> Anybody else would have noticed I hadn't even had my coffee yet and I was standing here in my pyjamas doing this phone interview. But with Johnny Clark, because he talks like that. <laughs> anyway, he's a great poet and um, he had a number of great poems. One of them was called Twat. That was one of his greats. My son got to do that recently in English, which I thought was great. But he didn't do this song. This is perhaps his... No, maybe his greatest hit is Beasley Street. What do you think Beasley Street is his greatest hit? This is his second greatest hit. You must Google this when you get home and, and uh, see him perform it, because he gives it such fun. I'm going to do it in this kind of Dylan-esque busking way, but it, it's called Evidently Chicken Town. Fucking keen to fucking keep it fucking clean. The fucking cheeks of fucking swine and fucking drawers. The fucking line. The fucking kids of fucking games. The fucking kids he fucking blames and nowhere to be fucking found anywhere in chicken town the fucking train is fucking light you fucking white you fucking white 
you fucking lost and fucking found stuck in fucking chicken town the fucking scene is fucking sad the fucking news is fucking bad the fucking weed is fucking tough the fucking speed is fucking surf the fucking folks are fucking daft don't fucking make me fucking laugh it fucking hurts to look around everywhere in chicken town the fucking train is fucking light you fucking white, you fucking white You're fucking lost and fucking found Stuck in fucking chicken town The fucking view is fucking vile For fucking miles and fucking miles The fucking babies fucking cry Fucking flowers fucking die. The fucking food is fucking muck. The fucking drains are fucking fucked. The color scheme is fucking brown. Everywhere in Chicken Town. The fucking train is fucking light. You fucking white, you fucking white You fucking lost and fucking found Stuck in fucking chicken town The fucking train is fucking light You fucking white, you fucking white You fucking lost and fucking found Stuck in fucking chicken town. <laughs> Only at the over 18 shows that one, I think, don't you think? <laughs> or else I'll be banned from all of the art centres in Ontario.